We have New York State, we have Howe Caverns, which is world famous, where they kick you down to stalactites and stalagmites. Yeah. There are a little, there's a little bit of that way off in western Connecticut on the New York border. But usually around here, when we're talking about Indian caves, what they mean is this. It's just that nature has provided enough of an overhang that if you look down this line, in a, in a pinch, you probably could fit a dozen or more people protected. Mm -hmm. And then, because the way this is positioned, I don't know about y'all, but I would put a lean-to up against there, and you've got a nice house. Mm-hmm. But just by just building a wall. Yeah. Um, kids still come in here and they they uh, they uh, have fires and stuff. But this was uh, this was excavated in the 1950s by Yale University, and they found artifacts going back 3,000 years, including there's a, there actually were seams of soapstone coming out of this rock, and th that the prehistorically people were. were um, extracting that, recording that. But now check out, look at the size of some of these trees growing right to the rim, right to the rim. And I'll show you a picture, Connie, that I took of this in the middle of the winter where you have icicles all the uh, way down. Oh, it's crazy. It's